What? Yeah. Like, is MMPR toys kind of dying, or is that just like so. a made up thing? I think that's just a thing in a so MMPR toys. It, the dudes, the dude who runs its name is Bruno. Well, um, yeah. Yeah. He's the, the he's a Latino no. guy, right? No, white guy. No, Never he's, mind. He's white as fuck. Um. Basically, he has over five hundred thousand subscribers on his channel, on his main channel at least. And I guess the viewership that he gets isn't as much as he wants, despite the fact that you know, he only puts out very short videos, like at most ten to fifteen minutes. Yeah. Most of the time, at least. Um, on his main channel, every two to four weeks. So, um, oh god, does it... Oh boy. Yeah. I'm so, like... Oh god, it just confuses me. So, the guy is basically e-begging, and he he does that type of shit I'm guessing what type of shit so he just basically e-bags all the time and does nothing to uh fix his shit yeah like people have tried giving him advice in like I think the comments and probably through DMs and whatever but dude does not want to do anything different and the thing I've heard is apparently he said that he doesn't really give a shit about necessarily doing toy reviews, which weirdly enough is the main focus on his channel. It's just covering toy the toys, reviews. covering the merchandise and whatever the fuck else from Power Rangers and like, Super Sentai. It would be whatever. like me saying I am so mad that I'm getting I'm not getting views and I don't want to do beauty reviews. If I made my entire channel beauty related. Yeah. This just continues my argument of do not have, just don't do a single type of content. Do multiple types of content. Because, yeah. bro. The, there's another um, toy, re toy, yeah, toy uh, reviewer, I would say, uh, on Twitter who does like, not Twitter, YouTube, who does uh, like Power Rangers, Super Sentai, Toku stuff in general, and other things that he finds um, interesting. Dude named Dawson Ryder, who not only does toy reviews, but in between doing toy reviews, he's been reviewing the Power, Power Rangers and uh, Super Sentai and Common Rider. Yeah, like Dawson, Dawson Rider, Rider is one. Everything. Yeah, Dawson Rider is something I would watch for a while. Yeah. Huh. I th and yeah, that's so pretty he's dope. branching out into different types of reviews and stuff and other kinds of videos hmm. um, than just the toy reviews, which is good for him. And he has over 100,000 subs. I know that. That's another he thing. Like, if you really wanted to continue with the fucking Power Rangers motif, you could have just been like, okay, yeah, but then just... Oh, I hate, I hate why, I hate the thing that people pop up and they, uh, just are like, oh, how dare, how dare I not grow and me being me, I want to stick to one type of content. Like, yeah. bro, what? Like, his main thing from what I've heard is that he doesn't just want to do the toy reviews or he doesn't want to be stuck doing them, I think. Mainly what he do what he's been doing is like doing like short videos or shorter videos that have like stop motion animation and voice acting included into them before he really gets into whatever he's talking about. And like and, uh... the effect work and stuff like that. So I think he really has a passion for that. The thing though is he doesn't I don't know, he doesn't want to do anything different from it or anything else to supplement the content on his channel that takes less effort but or it takes less effort in regards to editing but will be good in the long run for his channel's growth yeah like 
I'm able to supplement my channel and everything of that sort through like my YouTube shorts or like my different experimentations. You know what I mean? Yeah. But when it comes to this shit, it's always so weird because the guy like I'm re reading one of them. <clears throat> Josh, you've crossed a line. This comment was enraging and misguided on its own, missing the entire point of the fairly short discussion narrated this time by other creators. That didn't start until 13 minutes 48. Before I even responded, you took this from our personal vlog channel to Twitter to turn our struggle into your own content on a platform where you know we're not active. For people to pile on behind our back, cowardly, void of empathy... Jesus Christ! It's like literally he just made a tweet talking about how Bruno was e-begging in that video and because of how long I've been watching Bruno's channel, I can back up personally that Bruno does e-beg at points and he has been doing it for a while on both of his channels, his main channel and his vlogging channel. Uh, I don't like, I don't get e-begging. I really don't cuz like I got into an argument with my mom today. And it was surrounding like I'm struggling a little bit with money and shit. Yeah. And I and she's like, "Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Just focus on your school." I'm like, "I don't want to fucking bleed you guys dry for money through fucking rent and some shit." I'll figure out a way to fix it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, I I have pride. Wanna, I have self-respect. You don't want to be completely dependent on your parents while you're trying to be independent. That too. And like, I don't want to, uh... Like, you wanna he... Be, you want to make, like, make a good living being self-sufficient. Even then... Like, it, it fucking pissed me off that, like, I'm more mad at myself. I'm not mad at my family because they're just helping. They're not doing yeah. anything wrong. I'm just yeah. pissed at myself because I'm thinking, I hate, I hate having to rely on them because it's like they have enough issues going on and I don't think that they should fucking endure my burdens you know what i mean yeah like it's it's all i'm i'm a very like i i don't like talking about this but i have to now because it's relevant to the point the fact that um the fact that fucking a guy who made his entire channel around reviewing toys is complaining about having to make content is baffling to me. Yeah. Like, and here's, here's just the weird thing as well. Like, in regards to like, he not only he begs for views, but he also, I think, he begs for like, at times he begs for people to like support his Patreon and whatever the fuck. Or, I think he has channel memberships on open. So, basically, he he would love if more people would like. I guess directly donate money to him through that to help yeah. um <coughs> thing though is, this dude i think it was a few years ago he and his wife mia who also helps out with the channel at times with stuff oh um, oh boy here we go i uh, found their response can't believe you <laughs> dragged me into twitter drama okay here we go again bruno response coming like Like, what? Okay, I want to find his response. But, like, then the in the fucking thing, it's saying, oh, yeah, we don't have, like, things. We don't have a presence on Twitter, despite them having Twitter. Am I crazy? Yeah, they, Am I crazy? They, they literally have, um, or... Yeah, they have two Twitters, one for MMPR Toys, one for Divided as One, uh, the vlog channel. What? And that's what, what? That's what Why Josh have, actually... like, a whole vlog channel? Why? Uh, I assume just for 
for a more personal kind of experience with the viewers who care about them over the toys. Um, like, are they trying to grow the fucking divided as one thing? I think as a thing, or are they? I think, I think so. There's a video from around Christmas time last year, so about two months ago, where Bruno literally says at some point in the video, some along the lines of, uh, "I." I can't keep doing the content on this channel if it's not self-sufficient, I guess, or if it's not, like, bringing in money. Like, you can't... Like, you purchase. gotta... He's gotta word this right, though. Because, yeah. like, for example, with me and my, like, Super Chat goals or membership goals, it's not, um... It's not like, oh, I want the money, I want the money. It's hey, I'm putting in this effort. Because, like, I'm still editing Slug Report 8, and I got myself kind of stuck into a situation where it's like, I have to put in high-effort intro sequences for all of my Slug Report streams, or it just kind of falls apart. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just... That's why I'm always like, hey, I am absolutely going to shill out the membership, the Discord membership, the fucking, all of that on the slug reports. And I appreciate immensely every time someone donates or gives me money. But this, this whole thing, I'm just glaring at this. <clears throat> The only people here who are acting self-entitled are you and your followers on Twitter upset that I didn't give them free promotion. Are you kidding me? I don't even know those people. Blah, 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 blah. You run a ho hobby channel. I never knocked your channel. It's fine to have a hobby, but your situation is substantially different. Don't try to tell me you understand. You do not. The other creators in this video do understand. That's why I shared it. What video is this? Bro, what? Uh so, I believe it's a video from two weeks ago on the Divided as One channel. Our most Somebody controversial knows. vlog ever. Yeah. And, um, what he's talking about in regards to now giving certain people shoutouts or whatever, if you go to Josh's original tweet, you'll see in, you'll see in the replies with some, like, uh, channels that cover Power Rangers uh, talking about that, mentioning how they never got, like, a shout out from Bruno. I can't remember the context of all of them, but like there were a few people. Here's but. the thing though. This is then again, this is something I had to learn from the fucking shit with commentary. Don't do shit for shout outs. Do your own shit. Grow your own shit. You get a shout out. Don't focus on it. Yeah. Like, I mean, I think, I think they were coming at it from the angle of Bruno wants to shout or has said he wants to shout out smaller creators but never really reaches out to certain ones that could use a boost but I'm just guessing is getting an emergency supply of popcorn no you guys <laughs> are needy and dialed <laughs> I can't go through that bit without laughing. I can't do it with a straight face. Uh, so, yeah, the thing the thing about Bruno in regards to... Here, hop into the first. VC on the server, and I'll bring in the screen share bot. Okay. Where is it? Pee-pee-poo-poo. Poo-poo-pee-pee. Ah. -pee. Uh -uh. Pay pay poo 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 pee 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 poo poo. Ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba ba. Wow. Eat. I'm not going to just eat randomly. What do you mean? Where the fuck is the skig? Where is skigs, chat? Ah, uh, we have the white man. Okay, you ready? Sure. Bet. 
Okay, let me uh, pull in the other thing. God. There we go. Okay. Boom. Because maybe they're. You're watching, right? Yeah. There are other struggling content creators out there that have also had a thing unexpectedly take off and discover that any kind of pivot away from that thing. <laughs> oh no. Like, I get the problem. Like, I experience that shit on the daily. But it's like, you gotta fucking keep going. You gotta keep going, bro. Thing that did really well is now the thing that might be keeping you stuck in YouTube purgatory. How do you get. That's our vlog channel. The algorithm is looking. Bro! Here's. Okay, here's a suggestion that I know will piss people off. Upload everything to one channel. You grow. You still fucking grow. Yeah. Like, bro, what? Looking at your audience and their typical viewing patterns and their interests, and someone that's signing up for apples isn't here for your mixed bag of weird trail mix. We're the mixed bag of trail mix, man. The weird mix. Spark and joy, but it is not moving the needle because uh -huh. the audience that would primarily enjoy that specific flavor of weirdness is not seeing it on the menu. Except they don't like Power Rangers either. I was just about to to export and upload this vlog, but then Mia sent me this video, and it's just this is like some epic rant bait for me right here. But she gets it. Th this is exactly what I've been trying to explain for years and years and years with like. How much money did this guy make from the shit? Like um, his channels. Yeah, because is this his full time job or is he a reseller? I think Hanky. So he mainly does the YouTube shit, and then Mia does stuff on the side with like um, 3D modeling, 3D printing, and whatever the fuck else. They they have like a side thing where she's mainly the manager of it, I believe. So um, they talk about like, it at points on the vlogging channel. And I think the main one. So is the guy like complaining about all of this? Why is he talking about YouTubers quitting? Like what? Um, I think it has probably something to do with- And then with... it just swaps to hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I think it mainly has to do with just the sense of not enough motivation to keep going. Well, yeah. Take a so, break. Yeah. That's what I did. That's why, like, even this morning, I, I did something that would normally not really do much. I went live this morning just to hang out with the dogs. I got my normal viewer base for that much. For like 12 minutes. <laughs> Hello. It's Hi. Weird though. Like, Hi. Bruno seems Hello, only to oh like God. videos. He doesn't there really like a kind of videos he normally does. He doesn't usually like doing live stream. Things. He doesn't really do like videos that don't need as much intensive editing to them. And whatever else. He, he tends to want to make like the like shorts or short films or whatever you would call them that either need or that either have uh, stop motion animation or VFX applied to them yeah like I'm going to again use my stuff as an example because if you really kind of look at it yeah you're going to try and um do the high-end stuff where you're doing a lot of editing you can't complain that everything takes fucking forever to do you know what i mean yeah. like you just yeah. can't yep. and it's it's just never going to work out that way if you do this so <laughs> oh god
Maybe, maybe it's just me, but I'm just... Fuck, bro. A lot of this <laughs> shit just fucking drags me up a wall, dude. Yeah. And I seems to not want to adapt to the, the changing YouTube landscape as they, like, change the yeah. site. But no success. Maybe, works. I don't know, just hearing it from someone else help at all? Like, did she say it any better than I did? And and right now, like, my homepage on YouTube, it's oh, yeah. just, just nothing I but, to say about but why YouTubers are quitting. So a few years I mean, ago, Emma Chamberlain he here is, like, $25 million in her pocket from her YouTube the stuff. But not, not, not the case over here, but... Um, no matter what, they to sell their house I'm not happy to see that other people are dealing with that. And I, I, I think it's just them living there. They don't so have any they kids. got a bunch of houses. Yeah, they don't have any kids. They're not responsible well, with it. Yeah, well, I think it's only the one house that they have. But regardless, um, um, they don't have any kids, and Bruno literally just. You, Mina has her own office in their house. Or no, Thank I think you for the one dollar, Charlie. And um, and yeah, like, it's in on top of that, he can afford to buy Power Rangers and Super Sentai merch, and importing shit from Japan, depending on where you get it, is not cheap. <laughs> yeah, no fucking shit, like. Like, Especially it's, if it's like anniversary stuff. Oh my god, yeah. Like when I when I grab like a uh, fucking Power Rangers toy or a lightning collection, but I want things to be higher quality. Like I love Go Kyger, but if I'm going to be paying for Go Kyger, I'm going to be paying a premium. That's just how it is. I can attest to that because I bought. Like, if you look on my, if you look on my channel. I've done uh, unboxings and Evil reviews Empire, for fucking laughing all the way to the memorial the merch the last few years. Hey, Almost God. everything I bought cost like between 150 to 200 dollars, sometimes more. Yeah, like this shit's yeah, always expensive. Range. Yeah, and that's converting Japanese yen to U.S. dollars. Well, Japanese yen is. I, I don't then, even understand that, but still. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, let's see. Uh, there's also the uh, the website man, uh, merchants taking a... or adding on money to take a cut to make a profit. Which I can understand, but it's still... You'd have better luck uh, buying shit on eBay, honestly, in regards to lower prices. Yeah... And that's not bad, but if you want to get shit day one, that's like, or cl as close to day one as possible, you have to go through shit like uh, Toko collectibles or Big Bad Toy Store or whatever. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Like, the guy... Maybe, maybe it's just me, but the guy is just not... Uh, it bothers me, because the guy does this shit, and yet he's complaining that everything doesn't work out the way he wants it to work out. Like, bro, what? And you have multiple channels. You, you're you able to get, like, a fucking 15-minute video with that minimum 15K. So it's basically 15,000 people saw it as is. Wait, it's... Wait, huh. it's only two fucking minutes? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, fucking hell. Yeah. Bro, what? Yeah, that's kind of the thing. He gets out videos every two to four weeks, depending on what he gets and what he wants to do a video on. And then it's like, at most, between 10 and 15 minutes. <laughs> on the regular, though, usually between five and seven to 10 minutes. Bro, what? Depending on what? the topic in the video. Just look on the MMPR Toys, like, video tab for their channel. What the fuck? Like, and on top of that, I would say, like, his videos do pretty well, like, over time, for the most part. Why? Just why? It's it's weird to me. Like I'm baffled. The guy is doing this shit yet. 
Like, I'm able to understand why, like, right now I'm getting low views, and I'm able to point out to the reasons. And this is kind of a fucking educational thing for people like Bruno. If, uh, you, let's say you go to your analytics, you go to your audience. So your channel audience watch for me, Nick Diorio, Lyrics, Muda, Sen, Tommy C, stuff of that nature. And who's live right now? Hmm? Who's live right now? Nick. Then we have the broadcast that's live right now. Like, it's... It's not hard to figure out, like... Hey, you need to understand, like... If you're going to make shit, make shit. But if you're not going to like it, suffer. You know what I mean? Yeah. <sighs> God. Uh, but yeah, they have a... Right, I was gonna say, they have a big-ass house, he, he's able to, like, just do up, I guess, the basement however the fuck he wants for his collection and everything. He's working on, like, what, like, plaster molds or some shit for, like, environments for, or to set up, like, a wall, like, thing of the Megazords and shit like that and the action figures from each season of Sentai and Power Rangers. <laughs> Bro, like, what? It's like, it's funny because he calls Josh's channel a hobby channel, but his kind of seems more like it. That's another thing, like... I, I love to collect my shit. I love to collect all of my fucking nerd shit. And like... I don't know. You don't see me kind of hopping into a genre I'm not very familiar with or something that like I don't know I'm able to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if we pull up here. Like. Like, yeah, you're showing off your collection, bro. Like, and apparently he's promoting, like, someone making the Wild Force crystals by hand. Like, yeah, it's... I think, that, I think that that's someone who's selling those on Etsy. Like, yeah, like, of them. look at that. This shit's cute. It's, it's fun. And it's it's just funny because uh, the Bruno, he was part of the, like lower parts of the production team for wild force he has like pictures and uh old like early 2000s this was, the shit was shot like between 2001 and yeah. 2002 early 2000s digital like footage that he's used in some of his videos and yeah. whatnot and it's just like that's actually really cool i bet he has a i bet he has some behind the scenes stories of when he met the cast or working with the other people who worked on the show yeah. Besides the cast, and it's like, I think he, he, it's just like, he could do an entire video just on that, just of his memories working on the show with the footage and everything. Like, look at this. That would be interesting. Like, look at this. There's a guy. I have to, I have to pause the epic based uh, slug pill music just so I can show what I mean by this. There's a guy called Ramen, Ramen King Ivan. He does ASMR. But look at this. I spent $40 on these grapes right here. Each right there. Now, because I did a series where I asked you guys how you ate your apples, and I chose your comments and responded to them, and I tried your apples, recipes, or whatever, let me know how you eat your grapes. Some people like... This guy makes a shit ton of videos, but he is a man. They also say they drizzle honey on it sometimes, so let's put some of this Thai chili honey on this thing right here. Just a little bit, though, not too much. Like, this is what the guy does. 
Like, I don't think I'm seeing the right window <sighs> in the screen share. Are you? I don't even know anymore. I don't even. Just seeing your know. YouTube homepage. Uh, I'm gonna do a thing. There you go. Like this okay. guy. Like this guy makes a good amount of money doing these ASMR videos. I don't want to put too much in that thing, my dude. That's a good combination, right there. Hmm. Bro, what? No. Bro. Rendering in 4K. Oh, Jesus. Sen. Can your computer fucking handle that? Like. <laughs> Rendering what in 4K? <laughs> I have no idea. But look at this. Like. <laughs> Like, this guy's major fucking thing is his ASMR videos. And my God, does he do a good job. These are expensive-ass mics. But fucking Bruno doesn't want to do shit. Bro. Yeah, he, he just expects the same amount of viewership or a higher amount of viewership, like, every time. Like, and that would be, like, like, me complaining that... I'm not getting a shit ton of viewers because I am slug. There are multiple factors. One is like commentary fatigue. People have put shit on my name. Um, sometimes I just don't talk about interesting topics. Sometimes I go live at really bad times. There are a shit ton of different factors. You know what I mean? Yep. Or it's like Sigs trying to get views. It's like, look, we understand, and here's why Sigs doesn't get views. Because he fucks trains. Clearly that's why. <laughs> nah, it's because you haven't uploaded in a long time. I upload basically at least once a day. Yeah. Or at least I have. Like, I record videos like the short more shorter videos but you know honestly i vibe with that ah oh, god so basically the fucking bruno thing is bruno throwing a tantrum yes because if you look at like shit that he says um because uh there was also a facebook post that he did about it i think it's now deleted on the mpr toys facebook page um where he talked about it and i think you might have read that but i can't i don't know but yeah and when he when he says like we're not on this platform or whatever the fuck it's like they do have twitter accounts for them they mainly just stick to facebook though which is just like why <laughs> i don't even know why like like twitter <sighs> twitter is slightly better for marketing <laughs> like I'm on Blue Sky now. Twitter is yeah. uh something. It ain't good, but it's not great. Also, um I wanted to 